Now, sports with Garrett Brown. Welcome back. High School Hoops are here. It's been a wild first couple of days of the playoffs. Today saw some huge matchups here on the Western Slope and across the state. Let's get things started off with the number one team in the entire tournament, the Fruta Wildcats, who entered play tonight against Highlands Ranch with a perfect regular season, but all that hype could come crashing down with a loss to the Falcons. We're going to join this one late in the third, and uh-oh, the Cats find themselves somewhere they hadn't been a lot this year, trailing late. Running out of time, they need to get going. That's exactly what they do here, senior Max Orchard with the steal. Daniel Thomason finishes with the score. Thomason really got going down the stretch when his team needed it the most with another score there after some nice ball movement from his Wildcats teammates to get it there to him in the low post. And it's a one-point game just like that. Falcons offense goes ice cold in the meantime, unable to find a hole in the Cats defense. And when they do, it's a situation like this where they get a man in the corner. Wilson Sigmund draws the charge through the ball. But Fruita would still be trailing by one with just minutes to go until the Wildcats sophomore hits the shot of the season. Jet Wells connects on the three ball there. Wildcats take the lead late in the fourth with under four to go. Falcon three ball, they're still ice cold. In the meantime, Fruita could just run clock, but they like to add to their lead. Thomason fights through some heavy contact there and scores. Fruita has some breathing room down the stretch. Then they get this absolute dagger with the feed from Austin Reed to Orchard. Last second desperation heave is off for the Falcons. Fruta completes their comeback and avoids disaster, winning 55-43. to They're going to get a rematch with the team they beat in overtime already this year in Broomfield in the next round. Let's keep the playoff party rolling out to Grand Junction High, where the Tigers' first round matchup, a little less tense, with the Tigers already way out ahead of the Denver North, North Vikings. And the reason for the big point difference, the Vikings had no way of slowing down the bigs of the Tigers. Andrew Henderson with the bucket there, but they really had no way of slowing this guy down. Will Applegate, he could find a bucket pretty much whenever he wanted in, in this one. The Junction Junior eclipsed 30 points in the statement victory, and the Tigers go on to roll the Vikings at a final of 76 to 43. They'll be on the road in the next round, taking on Lewis Palmer. That Lewis Palmer Rangers team's coming off ending the season of the Tigers' crosstown rival, the Central Warriors, 72 to 43 in the first round of the playoffs. Palisade, the Bulldogs, their season also comes to an end after falling to the Vista Peak Prep Bison, 76 to 35. But we had another thriller on the Western Slope, the Montrose Redhawks. They escaped the first round with a win as close as possible, with junior Caleb Ferguson hitting a pair of clutch free throws with just seconds left in this one, not only to tie it up, but to take the one-point lead and take down the Harrison Panthers, 49 to 48. They'll be taking on Ponderosa in the next round of the playoffs.